This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Make your purchases through my personal link in the description to help out the channel. Furthermore, if you want to support me more directly, you can check out my YouTube channel membership for fun emojis and sneak peeks, or my Patreon. Links in the description. So, I've been watching quite a lot of wrestling recently because I got my friend into it, and I've mainly been watching, like, the Ruthless Aggression era and the Attitude era, and I thought I would uh, give uh, an update to Stone Cold here because I don't really have a lot of wrestling figures, but I kind of want to change that. I want to um, at least try to get, like, the Attitude era and the Ruthless Aggression era wrestlers that I really liked. So let's start with at least updating Austin here. So this is a pretty all right looking figure, I guess. Like the vest is great. This head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. Although it is slightly too big, I think. However, the rest of his proportions are kind of, uh, I think his arms look quite skinny, but my biggest gripe are the legs. They're just like really skinny and weedy and it doesn't really fit because Austin had like really thick thighs. So uh, in comes this figure. So this is also Austin before he got the Stone Cold gimmick. And this is when he was called the Ringmaster and he was managed by Ted DiBiase. So he kind of has these like greenish trunks, even though they look really black in this camera. My plan is to change these uh, thighs or at least swap over all the parts that I need from this guy to this guy. So, um, I mean, we're gonna start with the knee braces, obviously, and uh, we're gonna have to change the thigh bits here because Austin in um, like his iconic period had, had like short boots and this tattoo showing and, you know, we're, 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 we're gonna get there. So first off, we're gonna heat up both figures. Okay, so I just slid the knee pads down and already you can see like just how skinny these legs are. I might also swap the knee pads with these ones because I was watching The Rock vs. Austin at WrestleMania 19 and um, he actually doesn't have these type of knee pads. They're more akin to these ones, I think. So um, I might swap them over. But yeah, back to reheating everything. Now heat it up. We can just remove the boots and the knee pads like so because I need to get to these joints here so we can push out the pins, hopefully. Okay, so I managed to get one like hip off, but this other one is just stuck. I can't get it off. So we're gonna just have to transfer everything to this guy and we'll have to repaint the trunks later. So now we just get these pins out like so. Put the thighs on. And now we push the pins back in. Okay, so we've got the thighs on now, but um, uh, regarding what I said earlier about having um, the old knee pads, I, uh, I think I'm gonna have to skip that because they're about the same size as um, the knee braces and I can't really have that because his skin is supposed to be showing through the knee braces like um, up here and it's gonna look wrong without it. So um, also here I probably should have put the knee pads on before I put the Thigh, uh, the like entire thigh piece on but oh well what do you do you just have to kind of finagle it on like this be careful not to break the rubber like so i know it's for ease of um, parts and stuff but i kind of wish these were just sculpted on because they inhibit the articulation a little bit but yeah something like that so legs are on now and wow they look so much better already but now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to swap the arms from here and I also want to swap this fist with um, this open hand because I think Austin with two fists would just be perfect. So, um, yep, time to heat it up again. So the arms are a lot easier to transplant than the legs, so you can just heat them up and they come straight off. And the reason why I'm even doing this in the first place is just because I want these black wristbands. And now for the PS de resistance, here we have the head, and it's coming off like so. And we'll put this head sculpt on, which is so, so good. And I still think the head is a little bit too big, but it definitely matches with the thighs a lot more, I think. 
Actually, I think in general, it looks really good. I think the arms are just too small, but I don't know. If I put some bigger arms on, it might look like really exaggerated, but um, we'll see what it looks like with the vest on. Arms look a bit weedy. I wonder if maybe I put like the cane arms on, if that's gonna work, because I, I kind of want to give Kane like a Brock Lesnar torso instead, so hang on. So here is Austin completed, looking a little bit more filled out. These legs did wonders, and I think the slightly bulkier arms also did really, really good for like the entire silhouette. Like I said, I think what's really throwing off the proportions of this figure is the head, that the head is too big, but this head sculpt is just too good to really pass up. But yeah, I also repainted the trunks and added another one of these um, uh, wristbands. It's uh, not the same length as this one, but you know, this one is too big anyway, so I couldn't really be bothered. Everything came together quite nicely, I will say. I also had to do some minor like makeup on this upper arm here because uh, originally this was like really discolored by like reddish pink. And I basically just tried to cover it up a little bit. I didn't do like a fantastic job, but it's kind of, it kind of works for now. And if it really bothers me, I'll just go and put some more time and effort into it because I didn't really put too much into it. But yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin looking really, really cool. And uh, hope you like the video.